Hey everybody, Freddy here with another video. This time we're going to be focusing on Windows Server 2022 Backup and Restore. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started. What I have here is a Windows, as you can see on the bottom right hand corner, Windows Server 2022 standard evaluation uh, version of, of this server and I do have a an external USB drive that is attached physically to the server. So I'm not talking about cloud. I'm not talking about anything that has to do with cloud. At this point, this is a physical box that is sitting here in my office with an external USB drive. So as you can see here, this is the disk management. I'm just showing you what I have. This one is the USB drive that is showing as, um, as an empty drive with an empty partition. It's called new drive. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to use it for Windows backup. So the next, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open Windows Server Backup. If you get a message that is not installed, you may have to just add it. At this point, it is added to my server. So I'm going to go to Backup Schedule. Next. Full server backup, I'm going to do this every night at 9 p.m. And I would recommend that you do set it up in a schedule like this. And you do next, we're going to back up to a hard drive, an external hard drive. And as you can see here, it says that no disks are available for use as a backup storage. The reason could be this recovery partition here. A lot of times Windows doesn't like when you have things like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean it up with uh, PowerShell. I know this is a little bit more advanced. Uh, one of the things that you could do is you could um, try a different drive. But if you don't have another drive, then I would recommend that you just run PowerShell as an administrator. There's a command called disk part. And once you go in there, you can say list disk. And you can see that the disk that we want is this 931 gigabyte, which happens to be disk one. So what we're going to do is we're going to select disk one. And it says uh, that disk one has been selected. Um, once we select the disk, we're going to go ahead and list the partition. So list partition and we have two partition. We're going to get rid of both. So um, I guess we can just do clean. Let's try clean. See what happens. All right. There are no partitions to show by not by pressing clean. What it does is it gets rid of all the partitions that you have on this drive. So if we go back to our here, it says that disk is unknown and it has uh, no partitions at this point. So let's go back into the backup. And let's do this again. Let's see if it recognizes the drive now. Now it now it recognizes it. So as you can see, this is the way to clean it up. If for some reason it's not showing up as a drive that you can use, just go into the disk part PowerShell like you saw here in this video and just clean it up. So we're going to go ahead and select this and we're going to say next. When you finish this wizard, the selected disks will be reformatted and all the existing volumes and the data on the disk will be deleted. Um, one of the things that is really nice about this backup is that once you say yes here, it'll configure this drive to be used as a backup. You're not going to be able to see it in the Windows Explorer. So let's go ahead and say yes. And as you can see here, it's going to back up everything. Uh, it's going to back up bare metal recovery. So this is if you need to recover your server from scratch, this is the best backup because it's going to recover everything. It's going to recover the EF EFI system partition and the local disk C and the system state. So everything is going to be backed up. So click finish and it's formatting the disk. And now it's creating the backup schedule. And soon you're going to be able to see the backup starting. Okay, you have successfully created the backup schedule. Uh, your first schedule backup will happen today at 9 p.m. Make sure that the disks are using, okay. So at this point, what this is telling you is that because I told it to do it at 9 p.m., it'll do it at 9 p.m. 
But what I would like to do right now is I would like to create a backup right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on backup once. And I can use that schedule that I created. So I can say that this one and I can say uh, backup. Exactly the same thing. It's just going to use whatever settings I set up on my schedule. It's going to use that to do this once and it's going to create the backup. So now, as you can see, it's going through the backup. One of the things that I like to do during this time is just to see what happened. You know, when you go in and you set up this drive, as you can see, this one created a Windows uh, healthy data partition, and then it created 132 megabytes of an allocated uh, disk space. So we don't need to touch that. This is just so you can see what it, what it did. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go in here. That drive does not show up on the local um, on the on the on the this PC information. So that that means that this drive is hidden. One of the nice things about this is that because it's hidden, if this computer ever gets infected with ransomware or something like that, your backup is not going to be affected because ransomware is not going to find it. A lot of the the, the ransomware right now do not affect this backup so we will test that but so you can see what's going to happen so we are not able to see it and now it's going through the backup so i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to come back when the backup finishes and then we're going to go ahead and infect the computer and we're going to have to we're going to see if the backup is infected or not Okay, backup completed. We have our backup. Now let's go ahead and close this. Close the backup. Close the PowerShell. I have loaded the QSCX virus here. In order for me to run this ransomware, I need to turn off the Windows Defender because it keeps finding the, the virus. And there it is, it's running. QSCX is running. So the virus is running and let's check our data. Has it changed yet? Not yet. There is the second version of the QSEX. Once this happens, the encryption is gonna be very fast. We're gonna start seeing all these documents change. There it is. All the files have changed to QSEX. Everything is encrypted at this point. So at this point, if you have a if you have a database, uh, if you have let's say SQL Server running on this, or if you have any other type of database, all of that is going to be encrypted. So to recover, you have a few options. I guess uh, one of the ones that we're going to use is we're going to use uh, the USB that we created to recover everything. So let's go ahead and go through that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and restart the server. And this time what we need to do, because we're going to do a restore, what is called a bare metal restore, we need to have our boot up, either a, a DVD ROM of the Windows operating system, or you can have it on a USB. If you need to download from uh, Microsoft, you can download the ISO and put it into a USB drive here. So let's go ahead and restart. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm booting to the right disk so I'm going to say here I'm gonna to boot to the UF UFI scan disk and I'm gonna move this to scan disk because that's my my boot up drive and for you it's just your USB drive whatever your USB uh, drive that you have in my case is the sand disk so save and exit save configuration yes and now it's gonna boot in using the USB drive
So we are back. We recovered from the image that we created. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to log in. And all of our data is back. If I had any databases, I would be able to re, uh, be able to use them here, just like I did before. So there you go. There you have the the recovery process for Windows Server 2022. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you would like to see anything specific, please let me know, and I will be glad to do the video on that. Uh, please. Uh, leave comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow the audience. So this helps me a lot. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you on the next one.